barbershop conversation, guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. But uh, I was just sitting thinking about the NBA draft because, coincidentally, my flight was delayed in Atlanta, and it was also delayed in Philadelphia. So I missed the press conference for Porter Thurman, but I also had the option. So then that gave me the option of going to the NBA draft. And I, and I, I, and I mulled over it for a minute. I said, nah, I really don't want to, don't really want to go to the NBA draft, but let's talk about the NBA draft. And people say you got to draft on potential. You got to draft this, you got to draft that. But when in reality, I was doing some research because I, uh, sometimes I, I'm obligated to do some stuff for some people. And uh, I've realized there's only been one full-blooded white American NBA All-Star since 2000. And I was going through the numbers, and I was, and it didn't make sense to me because I was thinking about J.J. Redick, Tyler Hansborough, uh, Gordon Hayward, and I, I went down the list, you know what I mean? And uh, Kaminsky from Wisconsin... There's only been one white NBA All-Star. And you would never guess who it is. It's Chris Kamen when he played for the uh when he played for the Clippers. Chris Kamen is the only white NBA All-Star. Only white player to ever be an NBA All-Star. Lottery pick. I'm talk- and I'm speaking of lottery picks, guys. I'm talking about the t- the teams that don't make a uh that that don't make the uh the playoffs. And I was just flabbergasted. I, I couldn't believe it. And I'm not talking about Dirk, the, the Dirk Nowitzkis and these, uh, these Russian-born players. I'm talking about full-blooded white American NBA basketball players. And I was thinking that it don't pay. It's not to your benefit to draft a white player from college, a white American player from college, because the, statist- the, the statistical data is there. And... Uh, I don't know what led me to, to do this, but I was just sitting there thinking because you would assume J.J. Redick has made an NBA All-Star team just because, you know, he comes from Duke. You would think that uh, Gordon Hayward has made an NBA All-Star team, but he hasn't. Gordon Hayward is actually in a conundrum. He's in the West. So he has to go through the Kevin Durant's uh, of the world to make the Kawhi Leonard. So those two spots are filled for the next decade. So it's almost impossible for him to make an NBA All-Star team, kind of like uh, Lillard from Portland. But you guys feel free to do your own research. But, but yeah, Chris Kamen is the only white American that's drafted out of the lottery out of Central Michigan to make an NBA All-Star team. I'm not talking about Blake Griffin because the one-drop rule still <laughs> applies in 2016. So, uh uh, it's a pretty interesting statistic, and I was just blown away by it. So all them, forgive me for saying this, all them, the great white hypes out of North Carolina, the Tyler Hansborough, the Dukes, the J.J. Reddicks, well, Danny Ferry was the last generation, but you guys, the Christian Leitners, you guys get what I'm saying. They don't become NBA All-Stars, and what you want to draft in the lottery is an NBA All-Star. That's just a flat-out, point-blank bottom line. And, uh, it's just a, uh, it's just a stone cold truth, and um, so let me know what you guys think. Feel free to chime in. This is not a pro black. Uh, this is definitely not a pro black agenda. I, I was just, I, I, you know, how thoughts come to your head, and you say, "Let me see if this is true," and then you start reaching, and then you realize, "Oh, damn, there is some statistical data to support your thoughts," which then become facts. So. Uh, barbershop conversations hit the subscribe button i truly appreciate you guys support and hopefully i'm a nick fan guys and i haven't <laughs> i haven't rooted for the knicks hard in a long time because i don't expect them to win but uh barbershop conversations hopefully derrick rose will get or uh, stay healthy and uh hit the subscribe button and i'll talk to you guys soon talk to you guys soon peace guys